A girl once helped a teddy bear survive without a mother, and this is how he repaid her. What kind of friendship rarely stands the test of time? Over time, people develop conflicts of interest. Could be war, for a second half, rivalry for a new leadership position, or just banal envy of a friend's wealth. But the closer a person is to nature, the less he thinks about all sorts of little things, which means that friendship in the forest regions are stronger than in urban places, especially between people and animals. It happened in the Siberian taiga forest on the banks of the Yenisei. In those parts, the desire of an ordinary girl named Nastya, from an early age she went with her father to the forest, and therefore she knew all the wild plants very well and wasn't afraid of all the bloodthirsty predators. On warm days, the father often took the girl with him to the river. There he taught her how to fish and how to drive a boat. But one day an accident happened. The man decided to go down the mountain river with his daughter but couldn't calculate his strength. He was no longer young and therefore couldn't cope with the fast current. Nastya managed to cling to a log and get ashore, but her father couldn't swim out of the turbulent stream either. Since then, the girl moved to live in a neighboring village to her grandfather. He was an experienced forester and therefore was delighted with a smart granddaughter who helped him with the housework. Time passed, Nastya took care of the house and grandfather went to the forest and made sure that no one hunted animals in these parts when it was forbidden. But the poacher still found a way to deceive the forester. Once he found in a den, a little bear cub lay next to the body of his mother. The old man took pity on the defenseless baby and took him home to his granddaughter. Over time, the girl became very attached to the bear cub, and he obeyed Nastya and everything, and he never offended her, even when he'd grown significantly. However, the neighbors were afraid of a wild predator and constantly asked the forester to remove the animal away from the village. A living person had to agree with them. In addition, the bear itself was already longing for the forest as the mating season was approaching. Nastya was very worried that the bear no longer lives with them, but oddly enough, the bear often visited his former owners and the girl herself often went into the forest and left some tasty treat for him. On one of those days, Nastya came to the clearing put food next to her, and decided to wait for the bear. Suddenly, she felt that someone was looking at her. It seemed to her that a man with a gun was standing behind a tree. But then, on the other hand, there was a growl from behind the bushes. Several wolves jumped out at once. It seemed that the predators smelled easy prey, wanted to attack the lonely girl. The flock began to surround Nastya. When they were already very close to the side, there was a strong crunch of branches, and a huge bear jumped out at them the one for which the treat was intended. He put several wolves on the ground with two blows. The rest hurried to leave the battlefield. The bear was very angry, so the animals didn't tempt fate. The girl remained intact, and there was not a single scratch on the bear itself. But unfortunately, they didn't know what they were really watching. Unknown hunter. This man found out that a young bear was coming to the village and decided to track him down. The poacher couldn't miss such a chance to get his trophy in his collection. The girl and the bear headed towards the village, and the man raised his gun and aimed it at his back. The presence of the girl, the possibility of hitting her and the bullets didn't bother him, since there were no witnesses in the forest. When the hunter was about to pull the trigger, someone hit him on the arm from sudden pain and shock. He dropped the weapon. Next to him stood a huge bear, which was clearly not going to let the hunter go just like that. At the cry of the poacher, Nastya came running, but it was all over. The hunter could no longer harm the bear. The girl was not afraid. She knew that this was a friend of the bear's, which meant that the animal would not touch her. The bear would not give offense to his former mistress when the whole village of poachers found out about the case. In those parts, no one met. Apparently, such a death of their friend greatly influenced them, and the girl and the bear continued to be friends because they'd known each other for a long time they'd already managed to test their friendship several times. The girl once helped a little bear cub survive without a mother, and he in turn thankfully saved her from the attack of wolves. If you like this touching story, subscribe to our channel, like and share this video with your friends. We will in turn look for new amazing and touching stories for you. And if you have your own story that you want to tell people, send us an email, which you'll find in the description under this video.